want to share with you, yeah, and your family, family. the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God. With one touch in our streets, we're touching hearts and changing lives. I just like to say, welcome you to One Touch Ministries, second our home gathering, uh, where our apostolic uh, leaders is Pastor Shannon and Prophetess Nadija Young, and and I am the campus minister here, and that's uh, Minister Henry Jackson. Yeah, so so we're going to start off the reading of, of scripture by by Miss Barbara Jackson. The word I'm reading from Psalm 96 is, is what's her name? Uh, who? who? The woman. Oh, uh, it's a uh, prophetess, uh, Nadija. The word is, is, is happy birthday to Prophet Nadija. And I'm reading from Psalm 90 and I tell you what, and when you start getting older, what you're going to be going through. The days of our years are three scores years and ten and if by reason of strength they may be four scores years yet if there are strength in labor and sorrow but it is soon cut off and will fly away we know nor the power of thy anger even according to the fear so is thy word rapture so teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And let it repent there concerning thy sacred service. For sacrifice us early with the mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make our glad according to the day within thy have afflicted us, and the years within we have even exceed even. Let thy work appear upon the ser of thy servant, and thy glory unto their children. Let the beauty of the Lord our God be on upon you, and establish that the work of our hands upon us, yet the work of your hands establish, establish thy yet. The Lord's word has been read. I read you Psalm 90, 10 through 17. May the Lord have a read of his word for the good education of our mind, body, and soul. And once more again, happy birthday. May God bless you for the Perfect day. So we would like to uh, thank you for that uh, reading of the uh, scripture. Now we're going to uh, go into a uh, prayer. Yeah, Heavenly Father, uh, I'm going to say, yeah, we uh, come to you, uh, to your throne of grace, and we thank you for, yeah, for giving, giving us this time that you have given us to, to live and to, yeah, we actually, um, yeah, appreciate you for waking us up this morning and for putting us in our right mind and for, 
and so we'll continue to uh, bless us throughout this season. Heavenly Father, uh, bless my mother, bless my grandmother, bless my sister and her children, bless my uncles and aunties. Yeah, uh, for whatever that you have planned for them, uh, for within this year, going into the next year. Uh, yeah, I also, you yeah, would uh, like to say thank you for blessing me in the way that you have blessed me. Uh, uh, continue strengthening me on up in, in the way and how you want to straighten me up so I can yeah, begin to grow in the way and, and how you want me to grow. Um, yeah, and also uh, bless uh, Prophet is on, on her birthday. Um, that we do wish her many more. We continue to do blessing her in her life, her husband's life, and her family's life. Uh, that you do touch and, and 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 be there for them, and you lift them up, and and to begin to bless them in their lives. Heavenly Father, God, yeah, I'd also pray for for the loss that we have lost throughout this season. For the best of our families, pray. I, I pray for them, and I want you to lay hands upon them and give them the courage and the strength to endure this season and into the following year. Um, that they that they uh, receive your your uh, hand of rest, your hand of praise, and the and of joy. The wonderful name of Jesus, and the trust in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Yeah, we're gonna go into uh, praise and uh, worship. Now we're gonna sing a sing, sing a song. Uh, um. So glad to be here, so glad about it. I'm so glad, so glad about it. I'm so glad, so I'm glad about it. Oh, I'm so glad to be here, so glad about it. Oh, I'm so glad to be here this morning. I'm sad about it. So glad about it. So glad about it. So glad about it. That woke me up this morning. So, so, so glad about it, oh, I'm so glad to be here. He got the whole world in his hand, he got the whole, whole world, world in his hand. He got you and me, sister, in his hand, he got you and me, brother. In his hands, he got you and me, sisters. In his hands, he got the whole world in his hands. He got your little baby babies. In his hands, he got the little baby. In his hands, he got the little bitty babies. In his hands, he got the whole world in his hands. Amen. Yeah, we're gonna uh, move into a testimony for the service, and and I just like to uh, uh, tell the Lord thank you for how much that He's uh, uh, doing for me uh, uh, in my life. Uh, it's because now I I am expecting growth. In this season, so I do receive that in, in in the name of Jesus. Um, that I am giving a testimony. I say thank the Lord for giving my mother her strength, her health, and for giving her doctor appointments. Uh, all uh, healthy signs. So, uh, 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 yeah, as well as for you know giving uh uh, yeah, my grandmother uh uh, uh helping. And, and a peace of mind and you know everything else that the Lord you know yeah do want to continue blessing you know them in their lives. We brought it through our trials and our tribulation, our ups and downs. 
you strengthen us, Lord. We are with you. You build us up, Lord. We are torn down. Lord, we just want to thank you. <coughs> Bless everybody in the sign of our weak voice. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord. Amen. Amen. And so now it's a uh, sermon time. So if you have your Bibles, then go with me into the book of uh, Exodus, uh, chapter 4. So we're going to read verse 1. Oh, I'm going to read verse uh, one, 1 through 14. Uh-huh. Exodus 4, 1 through 14 read, But what if they don't trust me? What if they don't listen to a single word I say? They are more likely to reply, The Eternal has not revealed himself to you. The Eternal One answered Moses. And so God has spoke back and said, so, so what do you have in your hand? And Moses replied, my shepherd's staff. So God replied, said, throw your staff down on the ground. So Moses threw the staff on the ground and it was transformed into a snake. Moses quickly jumped back in fear. Uh, uh, God have reached out and grabbed it. Well, what God, well, God told Moses to reach out and grab it by the tail. And despite his natural fears, Moses reached out and grabbed the snake. And as he held it, it changed back into a shepherd's staff. Uh, verse 5, uh, uh, God said, This sign is so the people will believe that I the God of their fathers, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, have revealed himself to you. Now for the second sign, put your hand on your chest inside your shirt. Moses did as the, uh, uh, as the external instructed, and when he pulled his hand out, his hand was covered with some disease that made it look as white as snow. Verse 7, where the Lord instructed him by saying, put your hand back inside your clothes. And Moses again did as he instructed. And when he removed his hand from his shirt, it returned to normal like the rest of his skin. Verse 88 and 9 reads, if they refuse to believe you and are not persuaded after you perform the first sign, Perhaps they will be after the second sign. But if they refuse to believe you and are not persuaded after you perform the first two signs, then here is the third sign. Take some water from the Nile and pour it out onto the ground. The water you take from the Nile will become blood on the ground. In verse 10, Moses responded back saying, uh, please, Lord, uh, I, I am not a talented speaker. I have never been good with words. I wasn't when I was younger, and I haven't gotten any better since you revealed yourself to me. Uh, I stutter and, and slammer. My, my words get all twisted. And God responded by verse 11 by saying, who is this? Uh, well, uh, who, who, who is it that gives a person a mouth? Who determines whether one person speaks and another does it? Why, why is it that one person hears and another does it? And why can one person see and another, and, and another doesn't? Isn't it because of me, the eternal? So you know it, it is. So go now and I will be there to give you the words to speak. I will tell you what to say. 
Then that's when the, the, the Lord begged, well, Moses begged and said, Please, Lord, I beg you to send your message through someone else, uh, anyone else. Verse 14 reads, it said, Then the Eternal became angry with Moses. And so, yeah, I want to say here, um, as you as you see through through throughout this uh scripture here, uh God God was was instructing Moses where to uh he was trying to pre prepare him where to go you know and give uh evidence to the people that he promised that he was going to de deliver out, and so when he chose to. Uh, the uh, leverage people out. He chose Moses, but to do this job. And so, even though he chose Moses to to do this job, he was it. He was giving Moses some type of signs that he could show the people that that he was chosen by God, that he heard from God, and and that he want, wanted him to. I I want to say show them these things but but, but however uh Moses had combated with God and said told God that uh oh maybe I'm not the one it's because you know yeah I I'm I'm the um stuttering one and so no I'm not the one who's so good with my words and so when when I was looking at this um God was saying to me, you know, in this season, yeah, he want to know that, do we uh, trust him? And so what I mean by that is most of us, you receive, I want to say prophetic words all the time about what the Lord is going to do inside of our life. And I'm not saying that that's not true or not, but however, but the Lord, but, but, this is what I'm seeing as uh, this is uh, kind of God building up uh, uh, his, his trust in us. And, and so in other words, yeah, we want to be able to build trust with the Lord. And so one of the ways and how the Lord was able, was trying to build trust in Moses and, and, and to follow him is just by giving him some, some tasks to, to do. And when he did those tasks, he seen the result of those tasks. And so what what I'm saying is that there are some things that God wants to give you some instructions uh uh to do in your life. And, and he wants you to see the results happen with, with your own hands. And, and so yeah I know we yeah I know we like to uh I wanna say you receive you know what word from, from other people and you know, uh, uh, you would like to see handouts, but however, but the Lord won't. We can see for ourselves. And so there's not, nothing greater in life than you knowing how to get up. You know how to work your own self and you, uh, making your own money and, and, you know, making your own living. And so that that's what God is trying to show Moses here is that will you allow God to to uh uh will you allow God to give you instructions on how to move so he could bless you through your own hands. And so that is what that this is about God wanting to bless you with uh, uh, through, uh, I want to say through your own hands. Where the, uh, yeah, regardless or not, if you, uh, think that you're not able to to do it or not. For which which God told him that I will be be there with you every step of the way, and so. Yeah, I want you, uh, uh, where to believe God in the things that He wants to do in your life by him uh, giving you instructions to move so then you could see the blessing 
come forth in your life as you doing it. Yeah, I hope that you was uh, blessed uh, with that word. Yeah, so I want to read to you these seven uh, blessings. I speak uh, blessings of one, health for you and your family. Number two, the, uh, I speak blessings of deliverance from any habits you have in your life. Number three, I speak blessings of peace to your mind from anybody or anything that may be disturbing you. Number four, I speak blessings of salvation to any friends or loved ones. Number five, I speak blessings of comfort to any person that is hurting, that is lonely, that is breathed, or that is confused. Uh, number six, I speak blessings of finances, debt cancellation, prosperity, uh, economic empowerment to all of God's people according to his riches and glory. And number seven, I speak blessings of anointings and promotion in your life to complete your excitement to move forward in your purpose. Now, yeah, so now, now we're going to do the uh, bed addiction speech. So uh, if you, you could follow along if you have uh, the, the, the book of Numbers, chapter 6, uh, 24, 25, and 26. Uh, ready? Yeah. Okay, say, so may God bless you. May God keep you. May God smile on you. May God gift you. May God look you full in the face and make you prosper.